I'm with Richard Agar from Hull FC. Um, Richard, how did you get into rugby? Um, at a very young age, really. Um, my father was a, a professional player, so very much, I guess you could say, born into the game. And uh, I think I was six year old when I started playing for uh, Traveller Saints in Featherston, who uh, well, then became Featherston Lions. And, uh, you know, I stayed with them for, for 10 years up to, or 11 years up to being a, a, a professional player. So, you know, I've been in, uh, in and around the game all my life. And how did you get into coaching? Uh, probably from a young age, probably from the early 20s really. I, I thought I was probably no good as a player. <laughs> and, uh, and I'd always had a, a big interest in the game. And, and again, uh, the fact that, that my dad did it... Um, we used to sit around as, as young kids and, and help him do his videos and, and watch him train. And, uh, you know, I developed a real uh, keen interest in, in probably the other facets of the game apart from playing. And um, when I was sort of coming towards finishing my career, I started coaching uh, some junior sides and amateur teams just to, you know, to see if I could cope. <laughs> Still don't know if I can or not. Um, and it sort of went from there, you know. Uh, Purely by chance, I ended up coaching England students, and uh, I think I was about 28 year old then. And, and from there, I've coached teams ever since. So, having um, been an amateur coach yourself, what would you say to all the local um, amateur coaches across all sports in Hull and East Yorkshire that yeah. donate so much of their time to, you know, to, to help train people of all ages? Yeah, well, I think I think it's it's the key. You know, they uh, they play such a big part, and you know, I'm pleased that they're getting the recognition from, from award ceremonies like this because I know people put so much of their, their own time and hours um, and effort into uh, you know, into coaching kids up and running teams you know for very very little reward other than seeing you know these kids enjoy themselves and to keep them off the streets and put smiles on the faces and, and you know the very lucky ones go on and play uh, professional sport but you know sport can uh, sport can teach you so many things in life in, in terms of discipline and respect and, and looking after yourself and competitiveness that you know I think it's great that, that people give the time up and uh, I hope that the, the children appreciate it and get so much time out of it. Mike Burnett, all FC. Fantastic and um, how did you get involved in sport initially Mike? Um, I was younger, I was about uh, seven, I started playing for St Richards which was my uh, primary school team. Um, I just went down to training and then uh, I just uh, started from there. Fantastic. And have you always been a Hull FC fan? Because you are a, a Hull lad, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm from Hull, but I'm East Hull, so um, <gasps> when I was young, I, was, uh, I always liked to go watch Rovers. But so you've I, got I was a traitor just... in the camp. <laughs> and um, what are, did you get involved in other sports when you were younger as well, or did rugby take up all of your time? Yeah, I, boxed, uh, I used to do boxing when I was uh, from about... 10 until I was about 16 but then it started the boxing and the rugby started getting in the way of each other so I had to um, pick one and uh, at the time when I was uh, 16 I'd, I'd been pitched for England uh, to like, play for England so I picked the rugby over the boxing because um, I thought it's an opportunity I can't, can't miss so I just grabbed it with both hands and uh, just went to And why do you think sport's important for young people? Oh, it's good to uh, it's good to like play like meet other people, play you play with different people all the time against different teams and stuff like that. So it's it's great to get involved with uh, in sports uh, to meet new people and uh, it's a way to relax as well and have fun. Brilliant. And lastly, what would you say to any young people that you know look at you guys and aspire to you know to become like you one day? Um, yeah, just uh, just keep. Working out whatever sport you choose to do, or whatever it is, you just uh, as long as you you're having fun, then just stick at it. Brilliant. And do you think the awards are a good idea to recognise local sports people? Yeah, they are awards. Yeah, when you pick up an award, um, they're always for good reasons. So um, yeah, that would be a great thing to if someone wins one of these awards.